Hello, hello, everyone. Glad to see everyone hopping on board. Awesome. While everyone is starting to filter in uh, to watch our webinar today, go ahead and in the chat, share where you're joining us from. I love seeing where everyone everyone's at across across the country. So you all go ahead and do that. And we're actually going to be streaming live on Facebook and YouTube today. Um, so really excited for that. So while you guys are letting me know in the chat how or where you guys are coming from, I'm going to get our live started. Okay. Awesome. Charlotte, North Carolina. Welcome. Welcome, Michelle. Where else is everyone coming in from? Las Vegas. Welcome. I actually was in Las Vegas earlier this year. I was traveling across the country from California to Ohio. And I am currently in Ohio to, to share where I'm at. Okay, and we'll give it another minute. Um, and then what we'll do is we will go ahead and get started today. Don't be shy, everyone. Feel free to use the chat to uh, feel free to use the chat to converse with each other, network with each other. This is definitely something we want everyone to just be communicative through um, while while you're taking the time to learn. So really excited about this. Um, and with that, I want to go ahead and just get started for the sake of time. So thank you guys so, so much for joining us today. Really excited about this topic. I think it's really applicable to um, what's going on in just the industry in general and what's going on with the world. And so today we're talking about three different techniques you can use to differentiate yourself and thrive in the digital world. So if I haven't had the chance to meet you all yet, my name is Rachel Gombosh. I am the Q Community and Content Marketing Manager here at Virtuance. Um, and also too, I do want to point out, I have uh, my co colleague with me, her name's Jordan Lee. She's going to be handling the chat for me. So if there's any questions throughout this uh, presentation that you guys have and want to chat that in, Jordan's going to try to answer those for you. And then what we'll do is, as always, we'll allocate some time at the end of today's presentation so we can get all of those questions publicly answered um, because we just want to make sure that that everyone you know gets the, those answers that they need to, to really thrive in the digital world. So with that, Want to do a brief introduction into who we are in case you're not aware with Virtuance. So we are Virtuance. We are a, a real estate photography and visual marketing company um, that is nationwide. And what we're doing day in and day out is really just providing real estate professionals like you with the listing marketing materials you need and all of those visual solutions you need to take your listing to market and not only take it to market, but really to help you sell your homes faster and for more money. So through Virtuance, you can come to us uh, for a multitude of different things when it comes to your listing. HD real images. Uh, we've got those professional, beautiful uh, photography images. We've got virtual 3D tours and floor plans, aerial photography and video, image enhancements, marketing enhancements, and also an all-in-one marketing suite with built-in single property listing websites that you guys can take advantage of. So just wanted to do a brief introduction of who we are in case um, you, weren't, you weren't familiar with us. So today specifically, what are we talking about? What are we getting into? So we're gonna be exploring some actionable insights that are going to help real estate agents uh, like you get started um, out on the right foot in this online marketplace. So as the digital universe continues to expand, it's always evolving. Uh, it's crucial for us to really leverage the power of digital marketing to enhance brand awareness, reach a broader audience, and also provide unique value to clients. So the first thing I want to do is really just go over some overarching benefits of digital marketing and why it's so important, especially for you as a real estate professional. So I want to delve into some just remarkable advantages that digital marketing really can bestow upon those in the real estate industry. So recent industry statistics underscore a significant trend about 96 to 97 percent of buyers initiate their home search online, which really is saying and highlighting that there's a paramount significance of establishing a robust online presence for you. However, the benefits of digital marketing and real estate really extend well beyond 
just visibility. So by harnessing the power of digital marketing strategies, you can unlock a multitude of different advantages. And firstly, it's gonna enable you to tap into a really vast pool of potential clients. So that can help you to organically generate leads, um, that can help you have a higher lead conversion as well, getting those leads into uh, clients and customers of yours. And that's backed up again by the fact that 96, roughly 97% of buyers are starting their home searches online. So everyone is now online nowadays. And how can you really take advantage and tap into that network in the online marketplace? The second benefit here that I want to point out is that it, go, it can bolster your brand reputation and really your recognition as well online. Um, and it can position you as a trusted authority in, the comp in this competitive market. So about 90% of the, the things we process in our brain is visual in nature. We are visual creatures. Um, and that visual aspect really comes into play, especially when we talk about being online. So how are you tapping into your digital marketing to play into that, that we are visual creatures? So a lot of that information that we're going to process and retain is going to be coming, coming from somewhere visually. And then the last uh, benefit I want to point out to everyone is that digital marketing can facilitate seamless engagement and communication with your audience and allow you to forge meaningful connections that drive client loyalty and also client satisfaction as well. So I do want to point out um, the top three tech tools that, that NAR brought to our attention in their 2022 tech report. Um, so these tech tools basically are saying that they have given respondents or agents the highest number of quality leads over the last 12 months. So those generators of leads, those tools, Number one was social media, which is huge. Again, we're, we're speaking to being online. So that was at 46%. Their lo someone's local MLS uh, helped drive those leads at 30%. And then also customer relationship management softwares at 26%. So keep in mind, these are all online items. Um, so how can you really leverage these different tools to facilitate that engagement and communication and build those relationships with potential clients? I see a question from Nancy. I do want to pause and answer real quick. Rachel, are the market, markets featured included in the base cost of photography? Can you clarify, Nancy, for me, what you mean by the markets features? And then I will get that, that answer for you. So just want that clarification real quick and then I'll get that answer. So while we're getting that, um, let's go ahead and just dive into those techniques on how you can actually leverage those benefits and maximize your real estate set success in this digital world. Okay, the first technique we are going to go over is building a strong online presence. That sounds pretty broad, I know, but what we're going to do is we'll break it down into some action steps that you can take away today. So building a robust online presence is a fundamental strategy that every real estate professional should be prioritizing. So your website serves as the cornerstone of your digital footprint, acting as essentially like a virtual storefront or what I like to call an online resume as well, uh, that you can leave a lasting impression on potential clients. So the website is going to be really important here. So it's imperative to recognize that a well-designed, user-friendly uh, website holds really immense potential, not only to enhance your credibility, but also attract and engage potential clients effectively. So to strengthen your online presence and stand out in a competitive real estate landscape, I've got three action steps that you can start to implement for your business. And that first action step is going to be crafting a visually appealing and informative website. So a visually appealing website um, with an intuitive user interface is crucial for creating a really positive first impression with someone online. So incorporating high quality images of your listings, making sure you've got professional headshots, everything is clear and crisp on your website, and you have very clear branding elements that reflect your expertise and unique selling proposition as well. So you can provide, um, you know, when we talk about a listing specifically on your website, you can provide comprehensive property details, you can also on your website provide uh, different details such as neighborhood insights or informative blog posts that really showcase your industry knowledge, or maybe if you have a really tailored niche, showcase your knowledge on that niche. So remember that an aesthetically pleasing website design can enhance your user experience because you always want to make sure you've got a really awesome user experience for your website. Um, and also that makes visitors more likely to explore further on your website 
to then make that de decision to reach out to you. So make sure you're crafting a visually appealing and very informative website. The second one is your, the second action step here I wanna point out is that we are going to optimize for search engines or for SEO. So implementing effective SEO um, techniques or search engine optimization techniques can really significantly impact your website's visibility in search engine results. So again, when someone turns to Google and they're like, I'm looking for a home in Austin, Texas, you want to make sure that you're putting in the appropriate information to feed that search engine so that you're, you as a result pop up for that person's uh, question. So research, you want to make sure you're researching relevant keywords and incorporating them naturally into your website's content. So this can include also those property descriptions that may be on your website, any blog posts that are on your website. You can also incorporate something called meta tags, which essentially is snippets of code that tells search engines important information about your web pages. So that can be a little bit advanced, but typically all of your uh, website tools should allow you to include meta tags on that as well. So this type of practice really just helps, as I mentioned, search engines like Google recognize the relevance of your content and rank your website higher for relevant search queries. So additionally, optimize, um, you wanna optimize your website load speed, which includes those images. You wanna make sure you are downloading web-friendly images and uploading those back to your website. You want mobile responsiveness because most people are on their cell phones nowadays when they're looking up anything online. Um, and you wanna make sure you also include what's called a internal linking structure, which essentially is a link that's within your body text that pops someone over to another page of yours on your website. So that provides a really seamless browsing experience that search engines ultimately favor. And then I see a couple of questions coming in. I've got one more action step and then I'll go through those questions. So our last action step is going to be engaging, um, create engage or engage with fresh and relevant content. So make sure that you are regularly updating your website with fresh and relevant content um, because this not only keeps visitors engaged while they're on your website, but it also signals to search engines that you are a website that is not only active, but you also are providing value to users as well, which are really important in helping you rank on um, Google or feeding Google the appropriate information to have them rank you. So you want to maintain an informative blog again, where you can share this could be insights on the real estate market, which would be really important and awesome now to, to have, considering there's a lot of different moving pieces happening in the market right now. You can offer tips for buyers and sellers. You can address uh, things like frequently asked questions. So creating valuable content positions you as an industry expert and really encourages visitors to return back to your website. <laughs> excuse me, uh, return back to your website for any additional insights, um, in, which can increase the likelihood of converting them into clients. So in conclusion, just building a strong online presence is going to be essential for real estate professionals to establish credibility and also attract potential clients. So by crafting an appealing website, implementing strong SEO strategies and constantly providing valuable content, you can enhance your digital footprint and make a memorable first impression on visitors. So your online presence is not only a reflection of your brand, but also a powerful tool to connect with clients and set yourself apart in this competitive digital landscape as well. Okay, I do want to take a brief pause because I know I've seen some questions come in. I had my slide at the beginning of my talk. Websites was the only thing I remembered, but there are several. Oh, yes, all of the different uh, upper, or features that we offer with Virtuance. I'll make sure to go back um, and include this presentation with our follow-up email so everyone has access to the information. But we provide things like real estate photography. We've got aerial videos and photos. Uh, we've got 3D tours and floor plans. And we have a bunch of different marketing enhancements and image enhancements to help you get that additional um, visibility on, on your images. So we've got beautiful twilight packages that we, we can include uh, for your photos or you can order with your photo shoot. We've got virtual twilight. So if you can't shoot during the you know, twilight time, we've got virtuals coming in and we also have things like virtual staging. So there's a lot of different uh, products that we offer. And Jordan, real quick, if you would be willing to pull up maybe just our um, different product links and send those in the chat for Nancy so she has access to those, that will outline all of the different uh, products that we offer, products and services that we offer. But I will make sure to Shannon's question then, uh, that you all get a copy of this presentation so you can reflect back on it after we're finished today. 
Awesome. Okay, so technique number one, we've wrapped up, build a strong online presence. Technique number two is we are going to leverage social media effectively. And the key word there is effectively, um, because we can all leverage social media, but if you leverage it effectively, it's going to really help your business. So when you leverage social media effectively as a real estate agent, um, it can really be an indispensable strategy, especially again, in today's digital landscape. So I want to throw some, some uh, stats your way. With over 4.9 billion active users worldwide on social media, um, this number is actually projected to rise to 5.85 billion users all across social media platforms by 2027. This is basically saying that social media presents a fast and dynamic platform for establishing meaningful connections with your audience and showcasing your expertise. This Remember how I talked about the benefits that you can tap into? On social media platforms alone, 4.9 billion users. So there's an endless possibility for you to connect with someone and, and really build that relationship so that hopefully they turn into your clients. So definitely don't be overlooking social media. Also engaging with uh, potential clients on social media platforms not only widens your reach, as I mentioned, but it offers the potential to tap into new markets, which can really help if you have someone who's maybe moving um, into your market as well. You could actually reach them before they move um, and find a home so that you can be that agent they go to. So it's really essential to recognize that the average user spends, actually, before I give you this number, I want, I want everyone to guess what they think the number is. So the, the prompt here is how many minutes a day do you think people spend on social media platforms? So I'll give everyone just a minute um, to, to fill in your answers. I just wanna see what everyone kind of thinks. Dan, in 180 minutes, what else? Good guess. It is quite stark, I will say, four hours. It is a pretty stark number, three hours. You guys got some good guesses here. Two hours. Okay, awesome. So the number is the average user spends 145 minutes a day, um, which is approximately two and a half hours, roughly just under two and a half hours on social media which is astounding that we spend about two and a half hours of our day looking at our, our phones uh, for social media. But what this is indicating for you is that this is a prime opportunity to capture someone's attention. Basically what we're saying is you've got two and a half hours as they're flipping through their different platforms to, to grab their attention and start building that relationship. So really awesome guesses. You guys were all really close. <laughs> so great job here. Now let's talk about the action steps to really leverage social media effectively. So the first thing I want to point out is creating consistent, um, engaging online or short form videos. So when you consistently create engaging short form videos to capture attention, this could be things like showcasing properties, providing industry insights. Um, people love behind the scenes or bloopers, or you could do a meet the team video. There's so many different opportunities when you talk about video content that you can create. Um, this can help you just be extremely engaging with, with the content you're putting out on your online platforms and your social media platforms. Additionally, short form videos specifically have emerged as one of the most engaging content types, right? We really saw this, especially when we were in our COVID days um, and everyone started to get filtered into TikTok and all of the other platforms followed after TikTok because short form videos were what people were watching. So this really aligns perfectly, again, with users' uh, mobile-centric behavior of people being online on their phones all the time, um, as mobile devices, again, are, are a primary means of accessing social media platforms as well, because some social media platforms don't even have typically a browser interface. Um, most of them are based online or on, on, their, on an app. So make sure you're creating that um, engaging short-form videos to capture their attention on those social platforms. The second action step I want to bring up is you are going to maintain an active presence across multiple flat platforms to maximize your visibility. Now, this one I want to say comes with a warning. <laughs> this does not mean that you need to be on every single platform ev everywhere all the time, right? So this is where you really build strategy in. So what you ultimately want to do is consider where your audience is and tap into the social platforms that they are using. 
So if you notice you get a lot more leads from say maybe Facebook, than you do Instagram, then you should focus more efforts on Facebook because you know that's where you're generating leads. Um, say you're really niched in, in you know, a different uh, part of the industry and you notice that you get a lot more engagement and awareness when you use Instagram um, or maybe when you use Instagram and TikTok, then those are the platforms you should be focusing on. So social media can be a bear. It can be really overwhelming. But I think the key here to really make it manageable um, and really effective for your business is to actually understand where your target audience is and go on the platforms that they are also on. So I wanna throw just a couple of stats your way just on the different platforms and usage of those different platforms. So about 52% of internet users engage with YouTube monthly, um, which I think a lot of people don't necessarily consider a social media platform, but it is. It's also very much considered its own search engine as well. So this ultimately with YouTube underlines the opportunities that there are with video marketing. Again, we can tap back into those short form videos here as well. Also 84% of individuals ages 18 to 29 are actively using social media. So when we talk about um, millennials starting to, or millennials being honestly that, that largest cohort in the real estate industry, as far as buyers, um, they're on, you know, they're on social media. So you got to tap in to see where your audience is at within those different platforms. But 84% of that cohort is on social media. And then 77% of businesses are utilizing social media platforms to connect with their customers, which really just indicates that, again, social media is a tool for your business. Um, and I do want to point out when we talk about this, that when you're active on these platforms, it doesn't just mean you are on the platform. It actually means that you're taking time each day to be an active user on the platform, which means you're responding to comments, you're engaging with other people's um, posts and everything that they're creating as well. Even if that time frame that you're allocating is only five minutes a day, right? Strive for consistency. You don't want to strive across all platforms to be on for five hours a day. Give yourself five minutes a day to just, you know, check all your boxes across all of your different social media platforms. So honestly, what you want to do here is just maintain that active presence across whatever platforms that you are taking advantage of. And then the last action step here that I want to point out is you're going to tailor your content for mobile consumption to ensure that your real estate offerings capture your audience's attention effectively. So again, we're, we're talking back, everyone is on their phones when we are on social media. So here formatting is going to be really key and understanding the appropriate dimensions you need for posts or videos across your different platforms. Um, because what this can do is it will help your success in your social media footprint as well. Because when you tailor it to the platform, when you tailor your video to the platform you're using, a clear, great, crisp video um, that has been formatted correctly is going to perform a lot better than one that's really fuzzy because it wasn't formatted correctly, right? So just as a tool to throw out there, I'm sure you've all heard of Canva, um, but it is a really great tool when we talk about effectively formatting um, any of our social media posts. You can obviously create static posts, but you can also create video content through Canva as well. And they have all of the sizing you need built in. So it's really easy and user-friendly if you need some somewhere to start with formatting any of your pieces of content. So with 90% of users uh, following at least one brand on social media, the scope for real estate professionals to make a significant impact is really evident here. How can you be that brand that they follow? So notably also 76% of social media users have made purchases based on the content they've encountered across the platforms they're on. So this makes a really compelling case for leveraging social media effectively as a real estate agent as well. Obviously, you know, you're, you're not selling a physical product, you're selling your service and yourself essentially. And so you want to still tap into the fact that some people, when they're scrolling on social media, they are ready to make that purchase or they are ready to take that next step and, and call you. So how can you be the person that they tap into? Okay. Our final technique, technique number three, we are going to be providing unique value to clients. So navigating the digital realm really offers real estate professionals a prime opportunity to deliver distinctive value to clients. Um, embracing innovative approaches can really just set you apart and create a memorable client experience, right? You want to be innovative. You want to be the one that's standing out amongst the crowd. So one really awesome technique I want to point out first before we get into those action steps is harnessing the power of virtual tours, um, which has 
really become increasingly vital uh, for your listing marketing, particularly when we talk about uh, everything in the aftermath of, of the COVID-19 pandemic. So recent research uh, shows their effectiveness, basically revealing that 95% of buyers are more likely to call about homes with virtual tours. What is that saying? So basically what we're saying here is that this cutting edge technology, these 3D tours, these virtual tours are addressing the modern client's need for convenience and flexibility, which allows them to explore properties from the comfort of their home at any time that suits their busy schedules. So you want to be able to play into that comfort and flexibility that they want themselves. So by offering virtual tours, you showcase a commitment to enhancing your client's experience and providing them with an immersive way to visualize potential homes as well. So virtual tours are gonna be really key to taking your listing marketing to that next level. But I do obviously wanna take this a step further here and provide those three additional action steps you can take to really provide unique value to your clients. The first one is going to be, you're going to host a live virtual open house. So again, we're tapping into people wanna be in the comfort of their own home. Um, so in addition to virtual tours, consider hosting live virtual open houses. You could even market this as an exclusive thing. Hey, sign up for, for you know, a, an exclusive virtual open house um, or a, a virtual tour right, to generate some of those leads. So this interactive approach really allows you to guide clients through properties in real time. Um, this allows you to answer any questions they may have and really provide personalized insights in a virtual setting. Um, so by facilitating these types of sessions, you create a sense of connection and engagement that really replicates an in-person experience through the comfort of someone's home, which can, again, enhance your client relationship and your client experience. The second action step I wanna point out here when we talk about providing a unique value to clients is you wanna enhance your 3D tours um, with things like detailed annotations and floor plans. So you can combine virtual tours with floor plans and these de or detailed annotations to provide a really holistic view of your property. So adding floor plans can create um, or help clients navigate through each room and gain a sense of the spatial layout, maybe how their furniture would lay out in that space. Um, enabling them to envision themselves within that space, right? You want to create and paint that picture for them. So the more information and visual information you can provide up front, because again, we're visual creatures, the better they can envision themselves and create that motion, emotional connection within your space. So this approach fosters a stronger emotional connection and really streamlines the decision-making process. You can also enhance your tours with detailed annotations that highlight key features about the property. So this could be things like granite countertops, different materials that are used, or even architectural nuances that are in the property that you wanna highlight that maybe make the property really unique. So annotations can offer clients a deeper level of insight and understanding and showcase your commitment to delivering comprehensive property information. The four, or fourth, the third, the third action step I want to provide is you are going to provide personalized property recommendations. So this is where you're really taking those relationships that you've built with your potential or with your clients or potential clients um, and really creating a personalized experience for them. So you can leverage data and technology um, to offer personalized property recommendations just based on your clients' preferences and even their search history as well. Um, you can find that information again when we talk about using or optimizing your website for SEO. You can actually find out search intent, what people are searching for and asking for to help build that personalized experience. So again, you're really tapping into that, that data there because ultimately you wanna tailor listings to those potential clients um, that align with their specific needs and their desires. So this level of customization really demonstrates your dedication to helping clients find their dream homes efficiently. And the last action step here, so you're going to educate, uh, create educational video content. Again, we're tapping back into that short form video or just video marketing in general. So you're gonna create educational video content that goes beyond property tours. So I know that's the easiest one um, to, to provide, but we wanna go beyond that. Again, we wanna make a great impression. We wanna provide a great experience. Uh, so you're gonna offer informative videos about maybe the home buying process, Again, market trends, which is so crucial in today's landscape. 
Uh, maybe negotiation strategies is something you love talking about and would love to share with everyone. You can also share your ex expertise in these digestible video formats that I mentioned. Um, and by doing that, it not only positions you as a trusted advisor, but it also empowers your clients with valuable insights to make informed decisions. So again, people won't make a decision because they don't have enough information. So how can you provide all of that information up front and in a short form video uh, to hit two birds with one stone, but also to, again, um, provide that additional value to your clients? So by embracing and enhancing virtual tours and really supplementing them with personalized experiences and educational content, you can provide a comprehensive and unique value proposition to your clients in the digital realm. So these strategies not only set you apart from the competition, but they also strengthen your client relationships and establish you as a go-to resource in this dynamic world of real estate. And those are our three techniques. So just as a recap, before we open it up for questions, um, in conclusion, as the digital world again continues to evolve, it's really vital for real estate agents to embrace these techniques, to differentiate themselves and to thrive on online. So building an on, a strong online presence, leveraging social media effectively, again, as that key word, and providing unique value to your clients are just a few of the strategies that can really propel your real estate business forward. Moreover, just again, as another touch point, uh, Virtuance, we're all ready to assist you in your digital dominance efforts um, by providing you with the visual marketing solutions you need to effectively advertise your listing online. So you can leverage us for 3D tours, floor plans, aerial imagery and video, um, as well as a variety of other tools to help tell that full story of your property um, in the online marketplace. So with that, oh, I do have one more slide before we open it up to questions, because I know this slide everyone is going to want to see. So as a thank you for joining, I know this was mentioned in our, um, our outreach emails and our marketing emails to everyone about this webinar. I wanted to provide you with the code up front. We will also send this in our replay email. But if you use code uh, webinar20, you will be receiving $20 off your next suit. So make sure you take advantage of that. Um, again, we will provide this, this code in the replay email as well, um, but this can be really beneficial for you. And Shannon, it looks like you have a question for me, if you wouldn't mind typing that into the chat. Oh, and additionally, I forgot to mention as well. So everyone's going to be have, or everyone's going to have access to this promo code. Um, but additionally, for all of you as a thank you for attending uh, everyone who registered and attended will be entered to win a drawing or will be entered to win a free shoot. So we're hosting a little raffle. So we'll announce that winner in that follow-up email as well. So I do want to take just a minute or so and really just open this up for questions anyone may have. Um, let me go through our chat and see what anyone has. Got to make my little chat window bigger. Okay, let me see if I missed anything. Okay, so Brent asked, what's the difference between Zillow 3D tours and Matterport? So they're both really awesome virtual tours that you can provide. It just depends on what type of uh, user experience you wanna provide. So for instance, I'm not sure if um, anyone's familiar with the dollhouse view, that is a view that Matterport provides where it's like this really 3D, cool 3D view of the entire uh, layout of the property. And then you can zoom in um, to the specific space you want but both are high quality 3D tours. So as I mentioned, it really just kind of depends on, on what experience you, you want to look into. And it looks like Jordan did provide links to each of those products on our pages as well, if anyone wants to take a look at that. Shannon, for anyone in your room, they can use that code. <laughs> so yes, anyone who, who attended this webinar, please feel free um, to to you take advantage of that 20 or $20 off. And then, oh, Jordan answered that as well. Brent, reels in your future, like Instagram reels in my future? <laughs> or just using reels in general? I will say for me personally, reels are, Reels provided by Virtuance. Got it. Great clarification question. So we don't have that right now, but that's you know something I can always bring into our team. And just on that same topic, if there's any features 
uh, that you notice we maybe don't have that you would really like for us to try to tap into, please let us know. Um, and I'm definitely willing to take that back to the team to hold a discussion on different products that we can offer to, again, give you that better experience um, working with us and making sure that we can be that real all-in-one marketing solution for you. So no, we don't have reels or creation of reels right now, but we, I will take that back to the team. Um, I will say on the topic of just reels and social media templates in general, we do provide, we do have social media templates. Um, let me actually pull that up on our website real quick. And let me share my screen. Okay, let me pull up this new screen for you guys to show you. Okay, can everyone see my screen? It should be on the Virtuance website um, and it should mention, uh, or it should say member resources. So essentially we do offer templates. Um, so we're constantly creating new uh, different templates for different things. But right now you can actually go to virtuance.com and under free resources, we have so many different things that you can tap into. So if you go under templates and guides, it's gonna take you to member resources, click on social media templates. And we actually do have a couple different packets ready to go. So these top three are all Canva templates um, that are really easy to fill out and customize per your specific brand standards, but we did all of the design and layout for you. So you can actually access those if, if you're looking for something somewhere to get started about, with social media. Aaron, Reels uh, being good with Zoom. So one thing I wanna point out on that topic too is if you have any type of long form video content, it's really awesome to break that down into real content. So it's actually easier for you to take a really long video and break it down into multiple different short form videos. So that's a really good idea to, to get started as well. Barbara, super access to listings. So I'm gonna take a meander on this and let me know if I'm wrong. Um, I assume you mean by can our photographers, do we have super access? So to answer that, when you go to schedule your shoot, um, when you go up here and, and fill in all your property information, you're gonna see on step five, there is an action for contact and property details. This is where you would include any code keys, any, um, Access, any access information we would need to access your listing. So I do believe we offer the super access um, to get into your property to shoot. So I think that's the question you were asking. Um, so let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> and it looks like that's all of our questions. So with that, just thank you guys so much again for joining me today. I really hope you found this information to be really valuable. Uh, we will send out a replay of the recording with all the information you need, um, including that, that discount code for you. And then we'll also announce who won our free shoot. So thank you guys again. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And please feel free to always reach out if you have any questions. If you go to info or if you email info at virtuance.com, that's our, our client success team. They're phenomenal. Happy to answer any questions for you. And as always, if you guys have any topics you ever want me to address or any new products you would like us to discuss bringing onto our um, part of our services, I'm happy to discuss those with the team, but you have to let me know what, what you guys are looking for. So thank you guys again so much. I really just appreciate your time and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the day.